Guys, can we all agree that going to bed watching a really good show or movie is the best way to sleep? I feel like I've watched every good show and movie out there. I've like ran out. If you guys want to give me some good suggestions, that'd be really greatly appreciated. I've watched every single like typical movie already. So don't recommend anything that's like super popular because I've probably already watched it. But like I'm really into like action movies. My attention span is like so short. So it needs to be something that keeps me awake. And I have Netflix, Prime, and Disney Plus, so all I want to do today is watch a really good show or movie and go to bed. Because it's literally snowing so hard outside right now. It's literally like a blizzard. I genuinely thought it wasn't going to snow at all this year. It wasn't even that cold. Like, literally two days ago, I felt like summer. And now there's like a whole blizzard happening outside. I also sleep with my window open because I really like the cool air, but it's really bad for my skin because it gets so dry. So I love to use the Ola Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. It literally plumps my skin with hydration and keeps it hydrated all night. You guys also always ask me if my skincare is like suitable for oily skin or for acne prone skin. And this is suitable for literally oily, dry, and acne prone. I've been keeping this a secret for the longest time. I've been using this every single night. This is the Ola Henriksen Nourishing Face Oil. Nadege and I would always use this and we would wake up looking like a glowing goddess. And the applicator is so cool. It's like a little pump so cute this hydrates your skin all day it locks in all the skincare you have on it intenses the moisture and softens your skin and the best part is both these products are non comedogenic which means they don't clog pores also a hack i've recently been doing is that if i want my makeup base to look glowier i take some foundation i put it on my hand and then i mix like one or two drops of the oil in and when you apply it on your face it makes your skin look 10 times dewier it's like a great glowy touch bye guys ready with me but i'm actually in a rush so i'm going grocery shopping with my mom after lunch i need to go to the drugstore it's a lip oil and i'm really on the hunt for it i'm not sure if i'm gonna buy it though because it's kind of expensive and also i really have a problem i'm buying stuff like every week it doesn't sound that bad but it's actually like not good it's like money comes back i guess so I put too much as usual. I forgot to put this and my serum. But yeah, I made a video on this, like my first impressions. And it's so satisfying. I know I haven't posted in a while, so sorry about that. I also got a new powder that we're gonna try later. Love this sunscreen. I'm almost running out. Looking really glowy. About the lip oil, I wanted to buy it really bad, but when I went to Ulta, they didn't have it. I thought that REM Beauty wasn't sold in Canada, but there's literally a drugstore near me that sells REM Beauty, so of course I'm going. By the way, this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow Gel. Recently, I love putting highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now it's time for powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, and I got mine in the shade Fair. It's brand new. I'm gonna use these tweezers to, like, remove the plastic thingy. Never mind. It's not as satisfying as I thought it would be. I'm scared. I love this. I'm gonna take my dirty little powder puff. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is kind of like a brightening powder, which I really like. And it really blurred my skin. I get super oily on my forehead, so I really need this. I'm so glad I bought this powder. Before I end this video, let me show you how cute my PJs are. Okay, so I got these at TJ Maxx. I love them so much. Okay, bye guys. I don't like makeup. I'm against makeup. I don't think it's good for women, and I don't think... They really need to be using it, honestly. I think it takes yes. away. <laughs> That's awesome. Makeup is. Hey guys, good morning, and let's get ready to go to school. So, first, I'm just gonna use my Libby lotion and my bubble. And I think I have an exam today in one of my classes. But, oh my god. So, pretty much, um, I told you guys yesterday that I had a math exam. I got a 50 on it. So, I'm not proud of that, but. I'm just gonna have to retake it and hopefully get a better grade because math is just not my forte. Okay, I'm so happy about this, but basically I got like taken out of one of my classes. 
So basically, I got asked to get taken out of my journalism class. And so that means I only have six periods at school and I get to leave earlier than everybody else, which is like, I'm so happy about that. I should really start listening to music more in the mornings because this is so like upbeat and like makes me want to like get up and dance. I'm gonna use just a little bit of this because I need glow on my face. Like I don't know where it went, but it's just not here. So I'm just gonna add more. But yeah, basically, like as I was saying, I get to leave like at 2:37 instead of 3:30 like I usually get out. But today it's Wednesday, so it's early release, so I get to leave at like one something. Like I'm so happy. And yesterday was my first day doing it, and I just felt so alleviating, like, getting to walk out of the main doors. And just, like, not having to go to my fifth period. Okay, well, technically, I got my seventh switch to my fifth. So, I used to have gym as seventh, but now I have tennis as fifth. And I don't have a gym anymore. And then my fifth period, I just got it taken out completely, and I just switched to an online class, which is ten times easier. I always um, see people in the comments, like, saying, oh my god, like, you have perfect skin, like, I wish. I have worked so hard on my skin, like, I've never been the kind of person to break out on my cheeks or anything, but I always used to get pimples really badly right here and, like, right here. So, I've learned to treat that, and I will make it get on with me soon. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Um, Sun Kiss Primer Infused Bronzer. I'm using the Ulta Flush Blush. Time for brows. Time to curl the lashes. Okay, my eyes are done, and I set my face. Now for some benefit on the lips. Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey and the Cranberry Oil from Ulta Beauty. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Kirsten S hair oil to my hair because I'm feeling a little bit dry. I low-key just took a whole bit of it, but the shirt is Lulu, the sweatpants are Brandy, I'm wearing my Birkenstocks, my necklace is kind of Scott, and my earrings are kind of Scott. But that's my get ready with me. Bye guys! ready with me to leave my house you may be wondering morgan what is in your hair i got these little thingies in my stocking and they're supposed to make your hair like voluminous see at the end of the video if they work anyways i'm forcing myself to go get my nails done because i have not left my house since new year's i literally have left twice but i've just been so sick i had covid and then right after i got strep so i haven't been able to see my friends and now it's too cold to even go shopping or do anything Basically, I've been rotting in bed with no makeup on for the past, like, 12 days. I have missed doing my makeup and talking to you guys. I've been getting so many comments, like, people like, girl, where are you? Like, what? Anyways, I've been bored, and I've not felt m like myself recently, so I want to answer my Snapchats and look good. Literally, look good, feel good. I'm actually also starving. I might ask my mom to go get food first. But this nail place also gives us snacks, but still. Just remember, Mean Girls came out, and Maylee came in here, and so now we have plans to go see. She's also been sick with me, so... So I'm fine being around her. There's also this good salad place next to the theater that we want to go to. And the movie just looks cringy and like really actually really terrible. But there's kind of like not a lot of things that I can do right now. So I think that'll be fine. I just did my mascara in my eyes and now I'm going to take these out. Okay, I also kind of got mascara in my hair while I was doing it. But did that do anything? I don't know if this even did like anything. That just looks bad. I think I need like a spray. I'm just gonna like go like that. Okay, so I kind of just put a little dent at the top of my hair and it just, I don't, I don't. Pingle teaser sent me these brushes and I love them. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Bye guys, love you. Story time on how after three years of having lash extensions, I am now allergic to them. Okay, so basically I've had lashes on and off since I was about 13, which I know super young, probably not the best idea, but I've always just felt more confident and I've always hated my natural lashes. I haven't got the best natural lashes and I just always found I loved myself with nicer, darker and fuller lashes. <laughs> I must say, once you start getting lash extensions, though, you do not stop. It is one of them things where you feel so insecure and down. Well, not down, but you just feel more insecure without. So I have literally never really had a break for the past year and a half. Um, and I was so, so shocked when I went and got my lashes infilled a few weeks ago. And I noticed that, I'm not even joking when I say this, like my eyelids were so dry and I was like, what the hell is going on? I obviously just kind of ignored it and thought I was in Paris. It was so, so cold there. I was just like, maybe it's just the temperature change. And I'd had no swollen eyes or symptoms of anything when I first got them done. This was like a week after. So I'm not thinking it's my lashes. I'm thinking maybe I've used a new product. I was using a new concealer. I was thinking maybe it's just like 
targeted my eyes and basically i went to my lash tech and i said to her no i don't think it's my lashes i think it is just the products i've been using because i use some new ones well she said to me i don't know if it's the best idea and i said no i really really want my lashes done um so yeah she did my lashes for me the other day and i woke up the next morning like completely like rubbing my eyes so much and all my friends was like your eyes have gone really red and i was like i know i don't know what's wrong with me um and then my old like whole hair was so red so dry and i was like in agony i put makeup over i ignored it and then when i took my makeup off i was like ow this hurts then moved on with my day went to the next day and was like okay i'm just gonna put more makeup on gonna ignore what is going on with my face and then when i come home i took my makeup off and my eyes had got so much worse as you guys can see here my eye was like red and puffy and they still are super swollen right now but i wouldn't say oh my god i'm shaking so much i wouldn't say that as bad as they was before um but it's still definitely like not it's normal self like i i have really swollen eyelids and then i started getting worried last night and was thinking like oh it's getting worse it's not getting better i have so much stuff going on this week i can't have puffy eyelids the whole week so i called my lash tech and she literally said like come in now she was so good she was so helpful she literally got a newborn baby and she just rushed into the salon and took my lashes off for me today they're feeling a bit better they're not as itchy but they are definitely definitely still very puffy but this is your sign to definitely keep a look on your eyes and if they are giving you tiny symptoms to just take the lashes off until my eyelids are completely back to normal i'm probably not going to feel the most what's the word confident but it's a learning progress hey everyone guys i'm in shock right now like we hit 600k this morning and like only just over a month ago i hit 500k and this is just so surreal. Thank you all so much. Like, it generally means the world to me. But I need to set up like a little giveaway. But I didn't get anything ready because I didn't think I'll hit it this soon. I will get something in plan to give back as a huge thank you for all of your constant love and support. Anyways, I thought I'd answer some questions today whilst I get ready. So I put a little question box on Instagram and then I'm going to go through the questions. Okay, the first question I saw was someone asked what like TV show I'd want to go on if I was a celebrity. I think my first pick would definitely be I'm a Celeb because it just looks so fun. And when I'm watching it, I'm thinking, yeah, I can do that. But I feel like that's just one of the funnest shows to do and I would literally be screaming the whole time. And I'd also love, love, love to do Dancing on Ice and Strictly Come Dancing. Like, I love that so much. I don't know if I could do it because I've, like, danced my whole life. So I don't think they would allow that on the show. And if I was still single when I'm older, in, like, my 20s, then I probably would do Love Island because that just seems fun. Someone asked what my favourite makeup brand is, and it's definitely Charlotte Tilbury. Their products are such good quality. It is expensive, but I think it's worth it. But if you're looking for a few that are cheaper, Technique is very good, Elf is very good, L'Oreal is very good. I also love Fenty Beauty as well, that's another really good one. Okay, someone asked what made you get into social media, like where did it start, how did you start? I made like an account a few years ago and it got like 60k followers but then it got banned and I don't think I posted get ready with me's on there I think I just started posting videos and they started blowing up a bit and then I made a new account after that one banned and that one is my account with 200 and something k followers I'm still logged into that one but the comments have broken on it so I don't use it anymore and that's when I started making get ready me so that was about a year ago and then when the comments broke I just made this account I made this one in May 2023 and then since then it's got 600k followers someone asked how do you deal with exam stress so i've got my exams this year at school um and then i leave after that i've just had my mocks and to be honest i'm not a very stressful person like if you revise and you try your best then there's not much you can really do about it so it is what it is that's how i think about it as long as you know that you've done what you can do then that's all you can do Someone asked, are you a model? So, yes, I have done some modelling. I have do it for Pineapple Dance Studio. I've modelled with the Next Step cast. I've done it for Next. I've done it for a few other dancewear brands as well. And I love modelling. I want to get into it more. The next question was, what is your dream brand to ever model with? It will probably be, if we're talking like top, top brands, then like Chanel or someone like that. Or like a high-end perfume brand. I feel like those photo shoots are really cool. But I'd love to model for like Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. 
because I love all brands like that. Someone asked how do you deal with like hate or jealous people or just people being horrible. Thankfully I don't actually receive that much hate online but people have been horrible to me like to my face. I'm quite lucky because I don't let things like that get to me and I just don't play up to it because I'm just thinking if you're hating on someone your life must be so sad that you've got hate on someone else. I just don't pull any attention to it because then that's all they want at the end of the day. Someone said, when did you start dance? I've been dancing practically my whole life. I'd started when I was two and a half and my mum's taught me ever since then. And when I leave school, I do want to go to dance college, um, but I still want to carry on doing all my social media. Someone said, how many kids do you want? And obviously I'm not having kids anytime soon. But in the future, when I'm a lot older, I would probably, I've always wanted a big family because I've had loads of cousins growing up and I've just loved it so much. So I'd probably have like four kids. Okay, I've actually got to go now because my mum's actually calling for me. But thank you all so much for 600k. Bye, guys. Get ready with me. Guys, today I gave my sister and my brother some money. I'm going to Ulta with my sister. We were gonna go to Sephora, but Ulta has Sol de Janeiro now, so we're just gonna go to Ulta because it's easier. Also, I ordered like eight of these bows. Um, so I'm gonna straighten my hair because it's easier to do bow hairstyles on my hair straight. Every single time I do Cami's mascara routine, I get compliments. So I'm gonna do it. Why you bother me when you know you don't want me? Why you bother me when you know you got me? Why you hit me and you know you know better? Now you know better. It's been a minute since they wide up and they wide up and they wide up. I give up on like three minutes, six to one day money. I know you can't want it. I don't want it. It's like the best three minutes to pipe down. Bro, my freaking lashes look so good. Look at them. Oh, this song, oh, this song is so good. Brilliant, of course. For school, I'm trying to get into the habit of like doing less makeup. So I think I'm just going to try to do my eyebrows, this lash routine, and then just some concealer and powder and see if I like it. Hopefully I do. A little bit of liquid highlighter on my nose because I feel like I never do it. So I'm just going to do it for fun. Love to hold, to feel, to breathe, to live you dangerously love. And then some powder highlighter from Rare Beauty. It's like one of my favorite powder highlighters. You guys always ask about what lip liner this is. It's the Juvia's Place lip liner in the shade Cola. But Cola's with the K. It goes on so easily. Like, look. I love it. I'm going to do the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade Hot Chocolate. I'm so much sure I can be a therapist. Tell me there's other men. I don't want none. I just want you. If I can't have you, no one should. I might. I might kill my hair. Setting spray. I still love you though. Rather be in jail than alone. I get the sense that it's a lost cause. I get the sense that she might really love her. This is gonna be evidence. This is evidence. I'm trying to match you, but you know birds will come catch you. But damn, you was out of reach. You was at the farmer's market with your perfect peach. Now I'm in the basement playing home invasion. Now you laying face down, got me singing another rubby. I'm so much joy. Okay, guys, have a great day. I love you so much. Bye. You guys seem to really like my primary school and kindergarten stories, so I'm gonna give you more. I know you guys didn't ask, but like, I don't care. Do you guys know how there's always that one little rude person in class? When I was in kindergarten, I had that one little rude person. This girl done took a bucket, put water in it, and poured it all on my head. Anyways, you want to know what the teacher did? What? To make matters worse, she took my hoodie and popped it over my head. And all that did was make more water get all over me. And to make it even, even more worse, I didn't have braids in. So it was just my raw, bare hair. And mind you, I have 4C hair. And if you don't know about 4C hair, it shrinks when water gets in it. So everyone was calling me a boy that whole entire rest of the day. And on the topic about being called a boy, 
when I was in primary school, I got a haircut and my hair was short, like short, like chopped off. And my primary school at the time, I had just gone into that primary school because we just moved houses. Also, this was back in like 2017. But yeah, my hair was really short and every single time someone would come up to me, they would go, are you a girl or a boy? And it got so bad to the point where I had to come to school in a dress and nail polish. And every time someone asked me if I was a girl or a boy, I'd go. And let me tell you something, guys. When I was a kid, I did not play. I was a sassy little girl. And I still am. Also, if you're a teacher and you're watching this, I have a question for you. Why do teachers say it's disrespectful when we wear, like, our hoodies in class? Like, what's wrong with wearing hoodies in class? Like, I just want to know. Honestly, this video is just going to turn into different things. I don't care about the primary and kindergarten thing anymore. I'm just going to talk about random things just like I normally do. Oh my gosh, guys, you know what I hate? I hate the saying, beauty is pain. <laughs> like, no, it doesn't have to be pain. But someone in this messed up world said, Oh, you have to be skinny, you have to have blonde hair, you have to have blue eyes. You have to have white teeth, you have to have big lips, you have to have small nose, small little button nose, you have to have beautiful brows, long lashes. Like, disrespectfully? Shut up. You guys have to agree with me. Let's just take beauty is pain out of our vocabulary. It's 2024. Like, do you see my forehead? <laughs> do you see a reflection? You're looking beautiful today, honey. Also, guys, it was yesterday that I was thanking you guys for 200k. And now we're closer to 300k than 200k. I actually love you guys so much. Like, you guys are wicked. In a good way, obviously. Okay, I'm going to brush my brows and make it look somewhat decent. Now it's time for lippy liner. Okay. Now it's time for lippy glossy. Y'all already know I'm going to say that in all of my videos. Also, guys, I had pretty bad acne. Like, I had dots all over my face. Every time I touched my forehead, like, it would hurt. Because I had, like, literally so many pimples. But I got this simple face wash. Can you focus? And it's so good, guys. Go get it. If you have ever struggled with acne like I did, go get it. Because it actually helped so much. But that is it for today. I love you guys so much. Bye, princess. Save me for church, but I have to hurry because I woke up late. I woke up at, like, 9. And I need to hurry because I really want to go to church today. Wesley's also going to go, too. Um, So I'm really excited because he hasn't been to church in a while since he's been working. Um, And, like, it's 9.38, you guys. And church starts at 10, so I really have to hurry. I hate being in a rush like this, but I feel like this is literally my life. Like, I'm always in a rush. Okay, now I'm doing my concealer. I have to hurry. Okay, there's nothing worse than when you're missing stuff. Like, where's my other concealer? Okay, I'm just gonna have to use this one. I usually use the Fit Me, but this one's, like, running out. Um, because it's, like, my lighter shade, and I need a lighter shade since it's winter time. But I can't find it. Guys, my sleep schedule has been so bad for some reason. Like, I don't know. I've been going to bed super late, and because I'm, I'm not tired. And then I'm waking up really late, and I hate it. Because, like, why is that happening to me? During the summertime, I was getting up so early and going to bed, like, at 9. Guys, I also think it's time to clean my brushes because I'm getting, like, pimples right here in this area. And, like, I never usually get pimples right there. I usually just get them on my forehead. So I think that I need to clean them. Okay, now I'm going in with the Patrick Ta blush. Also, guys, I need to go shopping for more church outfits because I don't have, like, a lot. Like, I wear pretty casual clothes because my church is super casual. I don't know. I just wish I had cuter clothes, like, church fancy dress-up clothes. Also, guys, I added a new song into my uh, worship playlist. It's called Healer, and I've been singing it so much. I worship, like, all my songs are in my bio, and, like, you scroll, and then you'll see my favorite worship songs. So that's how you find them. I, like, woke up this morning singing the song. I'm going so fast doing my mascara. And I'm like stabbing my eye. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Hi, Leo. <laughs> you talking? Aww. Okay, so it's currently 9.50 and I have like a little bit of time to do my hair. So, we gotta hurry. Now I'm gonna pick an outfit out. Okay, so I put on this shirt. I forgot I had it. It's like kind of dressy. So yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Woke up this morning to somebody judging me No surprise they're judging me Don't know who I'm supposed to be I'm just acting up and crash as fuck And never saying sorry Found out in the end that I can only do it for me You call it sensitive and I call it superpower You just like empathy cause you think it gives you power Hey ready with me boys I'll tell you how my 2024 ins and outs are going Let's just discontinue the first two I do plan on doing that this year But Obviously, I, I can't have done it in the first 10 minutes of 2024. Saying no, 
I am quite good at saying no, to be honest, I will imply that into the new year. No means no, bitches. Waking up early, I haven't actually started doing that yet. Um, shall I try this week? So as for growing my social media, I do plan on growing it to about 200k this year, you know? Am I dreaming too big? Am I not? If you're watching this, follow me because I'm going to do a giveaway at 100k more cooking i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm gonna be real i got two chineses in the last how many weeks more cooking it's not going my way enjoying alone time now i haven't had much of that i had like one night and i cried like because i was so lonely by myself joey's away this week because he's on holiday without me so spending alone time well enjoying my alone time will really be put to the test this time and so far so good moving on to out so alcohol on the 6th of january i had a party and i wasn't going to drink okay believe me believe me when i say it but my hair dropped out at the front and there was no curlers to fit my hair as my hair is really short and the ones that did fit my hair broke and i was at my boyfriend's house which is 25 minutes away from my house and we had a party to go to so i drank a full bottle of wine before i went out because i'd already cried twice and last night we had a full bottle of prosecco as for swearing um I have got better than that. Fuck you. Sorry. Overthinking is coming to an end in my life. Gradually. If something pops into my head because I'm overthinking, I say no. But I just say no. The overthinking is still there, to be fair. But I just say no. People who don't value me. Well, people who don't value me are gone immediately. I have stopped comparing myself to others. I don't compare myself to others looks-wise. Cause... But in terms of like where I am in life... I've just come to realisation that you are meant to be where you're meant to be and then people are meant to be where they're meant to be. Excessive screen time, well, that is a work in progress. Là, je dois me maquiller et on m'a posé la question, c'est quoi la pire chose qu'on m'ait jamais dite Et j'ai vraiment envie d'en parler parce qu'en fait, c'était une meuf qui m'avait dit, euh, en gros, elle avait entendu une autre meuf qui lui avait dit Ouais, ma fille, elle est trop belle. Et cette meuf avait répondu euh, Tu devrais l'avoir sans maquillage, elle est trop moche. Je trouve que la compétition entre filles, c'est un vrai sujet dont on devrait parler. On était euh, en tout début de lycée et genre, c'est vraiment les âges où on est en compétition entre filles. Et c'est trop triste parce qu'en grandissant, vraiment j'ai appris que la jalousie entre les filles ça n'apportait rien et on ferait mieux de s'unir. Quand j'y repense, vraiment, elle a essayé de prendre l'argument le plus méchant qu'elle pouvait dire sur moi. Vraiment c'est méchant. À l'époque c'était tout début lycée, du coup bah j'avais grave pas confiance en moi, tu vois. Les filles on avait tous pas confiance en nous, on était grave jeunes, nos corps changeaient, nos visages changeaient. Et euh, vraiment c'est le truc qui m'a le plus blessée, je me suis dit comment tu peux être mauvaise à ce point. Et la fille c'était vraiment une folle jalouse quand j'y repense, genre comment tu peux dire ça de quelqu'un alors que jour elle m'avait jamais vu démaquiller, genre on était pas potes, elle venait pas traîner chez moi le samedi genre euh, elle m'avait jamais vu c'était juste par pure méchanceté et je me dis vraiment c'est l'âge où les filles sont tellement méchantes entre elles mais je vous jure il n'y a aucune raison d'être méchante entre vous vraiment quand je repense à l'époque du coup collège début de lycée il y avait vraiment des batailles de meufs pour des gars il y avait de la jalousie toutes les meufs parlent les unes sur les autres et quand j'y repense je me dis mais qu'est-ce qui s'est passé et heureusement que maintenant j'ai grandi j'ai la maturité de me dire mais je suis pas en guerre contre les meufs Genre tu vois ce que je veux dire, on est déjà assez rabaissé comme ça par les mecs Et entre meufs, vraiment on se comprend, on a les mêmes problèmes, on a les mêmes centres d'intérêt Genre vraiment, soutenez-vous Moi aujourd'hui je ferai jamais la guerre à une meuf La solidarité féminine, vraiment c'est tellement important Genre dites-vous, aujourd'hui je vais dîner parce qu'il y a une meuf qui a répondu à un TikTok euh, Où j'étais genre perdue sur ma vie et tout Et du coup elle m'a dit bah vas-y viens on se voit Comme ça genre on peut en parler Genre vraiment la solidarité féminine, quand je vais pas bien Je vais parler à mes copines filles Genre on se comprend, on a toutes des rêves différents Genre c'est tellement une richesse Genre je sais pas, les mecs c'est drôle mais les filles c'est différent, genre l'amitié entre filles c'est tellement précieux Nouvelle teinte du blush, Rare Beauty, je vais tester la Bliss Et euh, ouais vraiment mes amitiés féminines, genre c'est celles qui m'aident le plus dans ma vie Et du coup bah arrêtez d'être méchante entre vous Surtout que la plupart du temps les conflits entre filles ça parle de garçon Et je vous jure que ça en vaut pas la peine de vous embrouiller avec une autre fille pour un garçon Genre on vaut mieux que ça Mais d'un autre côté la comparaison c'est un sentiment totalement normal Moi la première je suis euh, la première à me comparer aux autres filles sur les réseaux, dans la rue que je trouve trop belle tu vois Mais il faut pas laisser ce sentiment choisir euh, comment tu vas agir Et vraiment j'aime trop ma communauté parce qu'on parle toutes de make-up On se raconte toute notre vie Genre je sais pas il y en avait une qui a dit ouais c'est mon anniversaire hier dans la vidéo en commentaire Du coup je lui ai souhaité Genre c'est girlhood genre on est toutes ensemble J'avais vraiment besoin que ça sorte Je sais pas si je me suis un peu emportée sur le sujet Mais les filles j'espère que vous laissez pas une histoire de garçon vous séparer Je pense que je vais vous faire un tuto style parce que je... ça fait trop longtemps que je veux le faire Et dans cette vidéo j'ai dit les filles mais je sais qu'il y a des garçons qui me suivent Et euh, du coup je veux pas que vous vous sentiez exclu mais là c'était plus un sujet de filles Ok j'ai terminé trop contente d'avoir eu cette conversation Bye J'ai changé mon maquillage j'ai fait un truc à mes yeux mec. Je crois que j'aime bien